Detroit Love here with another video. You've invested in your arcade. You've made it the best that it can be. There's a couple more steps you need to do to protect your main. I'm bringing you a tip that I think you're going to really enjoy to get your uh, arcade one-up box feeling like a real live arcade experience. One of the arguments for owning a machine like this, where you have lots and lots of options to play arcade games is, is that when you have so many games on there, people have so many options that they spend more time uh, trying to figure out which game to play than they spend actually playing the games. So they, they become overwhelmed with the choices that they end up not playing as long as they could because they're spending time scrolling through the list and looking for a game that they can play. And so the ideal is that actually less games is, is better because, you know, they won't waste time looking for games to play and they just get to it. So one of the things that is built into the emulation station uh, is the ability to, to do just that. And that is to give you a mode where, oh, what I'm doing? Are you kidding me? Come on, Brooks. So it, it gives you a mode where you can dictate a smaller list for your audience. And so, so we're gonna look at that today. Eh, just got a little bit of game playing here. Why not? I just bought the Galica board, uh, the game. And I won't be able to play it for a while because I got to wait on the acrylic cover to protect it. I don't want to get the paint uh, jacked up. So yeah, I just have to play it on my Street Fighter cab, right? Until I get the vertical, the vertical board. So, whoa. all right, so let's, let's get to why you came here. So, under the UI settings, there's two options. One is called kiosk mode, and one is called kid mode. And both are designed to protect the, uh, well, let me get over there. To protect your your configurations, uh, so one protects your configurations, the other can protect your configurations and gives you a um, gives you a way to limit your list. No, okay. Woo. All right. So you guys see my high score there, 213,630. I could probably beat that, but I'm talking to you guys. Uh-oh, I'm about to get hit. Maybe I can play this and cut this in and give you all the lessons in between. Wouldn't that be better? And we'll get the high score that way. Ooh.
should have got that bonus. What is this doing? Oh, I missed that one. Oh my goodness. That's not like me. Wow, that was horrible. I should have 100,000. I should be halfway there to the score by now. Instead, I'm a little short. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're gonna get to the lesson a lot sooner than we wanted to. Wow. All right. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, I'm dead. Might as well retire. Won't make a hundred thousand. I had what four ships at a hundred thousand. I got a hundred thousand ten in one ship. That's not how you want to do it. Boom. All right, let's get to the lesson. All right, well, I gotta get my name up though. 100,000 points shy. All right, what is your initials that you guys used to uh, put on arcade games? You only have three characters. Some of you younger, younger folk might have the ability to put your whole name. We didn't. You had three, three letters to use. What did you guys use? Uh, put it in the comments. All right. So let's get to the lesson. So again, you have. To, so let's talk about how your your RetroPie emulation station is most likely set up as. You you have your collections on the right here okay you have your retro pie so you can go in here and make changes to your system okay when you're here if you hit the player one button you go to your main menu and you can make all kinds of changes here with collections and UI settings and other settings and you can reconfigure your input thing so it's a lot of things that you can do to um, make your uh, cabinet perfect for you but these same features can allow a kid or a guest to really jack up your configurations okay so it, the emulation station provide some ways to protect you and protect your work okay so if I go into screensaver mode the normal way is such that if I hit the start button I can launch that game and begin to play that okay and that's fine and dandy when when it's you here and just you playing your game but when you're out of town or you at a party and kids are down here your guests are down here playing you do not want to give people this option at least not right now and the reason why I say this is because if you have these 2400 games some of these games don't work 
And so if you hadn't gotten taken the time to go through and find those ones that that um, do not work, they can hit the button and try to play a game and they'll be stuck in that game and they'll have to turn off the machine and they can corrupt your system, you know. So I would say that when you're in kid mode, which I'm going to reclassify as guest mode because it's not just for kids, it should be your normal setup, your normal mode should be the kid mode, aka guest mode, okay? And so let's talk about how to get into um, guest mode. But before we talk about the kid mode, guest mode, there's another mode, and let's talk about that and the advantages and disadvantages of that. So if we back up here and go to our start button, we go to UI settings. The very first thing on the list is our UI modes. This is where you change from either full, which is the normal mode, kiosk mode, and kid mode. So let's look at kiosk mode. So I'm going to hit the green button or the A button, the A button, and I'm going to back out. When you change modes to these restricted modes, you have this key, these series of strokes that you have to do in button presses to get out of it. So you want to make sure you know this. Of course, you have the internet still, so you can go and find this. Um, but it just makes it so that a kid can't just accidentally do this. It reduces the chance because a kid could go crazy and, and do that pattern as well. But anyway, we're going to say yes to that. It's going to restart the emulation station. And we're still in this mode, but we can back out. And now we're in that new mode. So if I back out, I still have all of my choices here all of my collections but if I hit the start button I am limited to changing the sound the sound settings restarting or shutting down the system okay so this protects your the emulation station settings um, from getting messed up by somebody unintentionally but it does not protect you from retro pie so they could go into here and change all kinds of things and, and create havoc for your configuration. So, kiosk mode reduces is only half the protection of what you should what you can have. Okay? I'm I'm a, I'm going to say that there's three levels of protection. One is protecting your kid or guest from changing the configuration of the emulation station and second it can protect your uh, it can protect your guest or child from changing things in your retro pie settings and it can protect your child or guest from getting access to games that may be broken or inappropriate for kids or inappropriate for guests whatever the case is those are three levels of protection protection against emulation station protection against retro pie settings being changed and protection against access to games that you don't want them to have access to so in full mode there's no protection. They have access to all three of those things. In kiosk mode, they, they are protected against one of those things, and that's the emulation settings or the main menu, not limiting the games they have access and not limiting whether they can get into RetroPie. That makes sense? Okay. So we're in kiosk mode. In order to get out, we have to do our dance with the joysticks, and that is up up down down left right left right b a if you don't see that emulation station restart you're still in the previous mode so if we hit our main menu we're out of that kiosk mode okay so let's get into our normal mode because again full shouldn't be uh, our normal mode because full means they have full access to all the games full access to changing any settings in your emulation station and have full access to changing anything in your retro pie settings so full access should not be the normal mode normal mode should be the guest slash kid mode and so we but before we switch over to the mode there's a, some things you want to set up before you do that under your ui settings you are typically going to have some screen settings on and you're going to usually have start on system now because this is a street fighter cab i normally have street fighter start up 
as the list. But I'm going to control the list and I'm going to include Street Fighter into my control list. So I don't need to, nor do I want to have Street Fighter because I'm going to get rid of the Street Fighter category for my normal mode. And so if I do not change this and I uh, switch into kid mode, the system will crash to the uh, Linux prompt. So you want to make sure you take it out of this mode and put just put it on arcade so start on system you wanted to go into arcade and none of the other collections okay why I'll explain that later so just trust me for now and in screensaver mode you can keep the random videos going so that you have that arcade sounds and feels when you're doing it but you want to go to video screen uh, video screensaver settings and you want to turn off the screensaver controls this will not allow your guests and kid to actually launch any of those games that randomly show because those things may be broken and, and get it, the whole machine locked up. Now you got to stop doing what you're doing at your party to come down here and deal with this arcade game. That's not what you want. All right. So we're going to back up out of that. Okay. Back up out of that. And now before we change the UI mode, we want to change one more thing. And that, uh-oh, quick system select. I don't know what I just, whether that was on or off. I'm not sure what that was. But we will find out. I want to back up. Um, go to game collection settings. So in our restricted mode, we want to eliminate the choices for people to have to decide where to go. So we don't want them to have to worry about all games and favorites and last plays because we are telling them what they're they can play okay and these custom game collections we don't want those on so we're going to turn off all of these all right okay so we've We've eliminated the game collections, left only one, which would be arcade, and we have restricted the screensaver from allowing them to launch or control it. And we're going to back up. So we're ready to go into kit mode, but before we do that, we want to make sure we have our games that we want in there. And so how do you add games to the kit mode or normal guest mode? So you'll go up to your games okay and you click on the coin button for player one that brings up this menu you go down to edit this game's metadata hit the a button go all the way down to the bottom and go to kid game it's currently off hit the a button is on we go down and we save okay back up out of that go to our next game mortal kombat combat three I'm not sure why there's two of them we'll do the one with the logo we hit our coin button we go down to edit this game's metadata scroll all the way to the bottom and turn on kit game it's on click down save we'll do one more we back up back up out of there uh, art of fighting okay Art of Fighting 3, we're going to hit our coin button, edit this game's metadata, scroll to the bottom, and turn that on, and save. Okay, so we go through this. Again, we don't want to have this list be every favorite game that we like to play. No, this is a restricted, limited list so that you, re you limit the number of games that your guest and child will have to choose from when they want to play a game because there's nothing more frustrating than two kids waiting to, to play and one kid is taking forever scrolling through this list of 2400 games okay you can eliminate that you are in control <laughs> okay all right so now that we have our games all the games that we want available in our normal slash 
uh, kids slash guest mode. Okay, so we're going to back up. We're going to go to our main menu and we're going to go to UI settings and we're going to change the UI mode with our joystick to the right to kid. Hit A, back up, back up. Remember our code to get out and A for yes. It reboots. We B to back out and now we have our list of games okay we back out of here uh oh we still have some choices here what do we do wrong oh because I add that Neo Geo game in there that's why so if they go to Neo Geo they're gonna have one game if they go to arcade so Neo Geo is the only one that's weird like that it has its own category and it's hidden somewhere so I'm not sure how to do that so but still, that's all they have a choice of. 16 games, arcade, one in Neo Geo. Okay? And they have no control over the screensaver. So if the screensaver comes on. Okay. So when the screensaver is on and you have the proper settings, you're guest or child cannot hit the player one button and launch into that game again this is part of the third level of protection protecting what games they have access to because the ultimate goal is to protect your configuration and so eliminating that screen saver option is part of keeping them out of games that may lock up this machine and cause you to have to make come down here and make changes and bail them out. Protecting this allows them to play and have fun and not have to worry about messing up anything. You are in control. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. But again, I hope this makes sense and I hope this is you find a value in protecting your setup with those three prote levels of protection protecting the emulation station settings protecting the retro pie settings and protecting which games are available okay because think about it if they're in the games in your favorite games and they're in there they're pressing all kinds of buttons they could go into the retro arc setup right because that's still available um, so you gotta think about that those levels of protection this mode right here should be the normal mode for your machines hey thanks for watching guys smash that like button and make sure you make some comments down there I want to know I'm doing the right thing for you guys out here thanks